Hello my soccer universe, it's finally time to take out the other jersey from a parcel from Sports Direct and yes, I put the England scarf up there, I'm wearing a Premier League jersey. It is a Premier League jersey, that much for certain, it's also from the past season, which is curious, you know, if you saw the unpacking for the first jersey from this uh, parcel, which was this Inter jersey, I have a whole lot of jerseys from this past Serie A season. But I have only this one from the past Premier League season. Curiously enough, the only other jersey from England from the 23-24 season that I've ordered was already during the season. This really beautiful Leeds jersey, which was my favorite jersey from the past season. So, you know, that always was gonna happen. So, yeah. I have one more. I ordered this Aston Villa one because I found it on sale on the Aston Villa store right around Easter and I said, okay, Aston Villa is doing well. I might as well add a white one to the home jersey that I already have. So let's see which one is this. I found this one for 22 euros. Yep. And I really like that one because that was a good deal and I could add it to the Inter shirt. Kind of with all the discounts that are come, I have offset the, uh, the cost for the shipping. So, there you go. Let's take it out. A big surprise. Drum roll, please. It's another Castori shirt. It's another Villa shirt. Yes, it's the third jersey from that season. Which, if you watch my Premier League jersey review, I actually didn't dislike. But this was an interesting one. I actually have to say I really like the Villa shirts from the past season, except for the sponsor on the home jersey. I especially like the crest, which was only used for one season and I don't get it. It was a nice crest, the new one that they have now with Adidas. Not that great. Again, this jersey is not the player version where all the patches come off. This is actually the replica version where it's sewn on. So, you know, you can do it nice as well. It's probably not as uh, well ventilated as the player version. And yes, Castori is definitely one of the most maligned brands meanwhile. However, I have to say, this is now my third Castori shirt. I really love the Island jersey that I got. I actually do like this one. This one I got double XL. It's a little bit loose, so I decided for this one. I'm gonna go XL. Let's see how the sizes are, because I need to gain a little bit experience. But you know, the brand might also go bust, so <laughs> who knows. Here it is, Aston Villa third jersey, it's, I have to say I like this one, I think this is even a famous one, didn't they win at the Emirates in this one and actually spoiled Arsenal's title challenge, maybe I shouldn't have bought it because of that, <laughs> yeah, but they were wearing CD colors. Now, all joking aside, I have to say that this one does something interesting. The sponsor I know is a betting sponsor, but I think it's not so intrusive. I actually liked how simple it is. I really like the detail on the logo. Just look at it. There's a whole lot of detail in this, almost like the Dutch jersey that I have in a much smaller fashion. But this is well done, I gotta say. The pattern, yeah, we can talk about it. It's a little bit wild, but you know, it is the other club color and they did something crazy with it. If you have any info on this thorny pattern, it looks like, you know, we want to rescue Sleeping Beauty at night, kind of, in a way, through the thorn bushes. But I don't mind it. Unbelievably, I have three Villa jerseys, two from the same season, the season that they were super successful in, and all of them for a relatively good price. And then this home jersey from a decade before, which I actually do like as well. Of course, given the commercial, and it's such a great commercial for the new Villa jersey, I would like to have that one. I mean, there's Ozzy Osbourne in there. I gotta get that one. <laughs> he grew up more or less inside of Villa Park, so there's a natural one. I absolutely love this commercial, and I think the jersey is also quite nice. The home jersey under Castori was not so nice, but I really like the crest. I really do. This one, I understand why it was not so liked because, yeah, but you know. Whatever it is, we have a new one. The new one doesn't do the job for me as well. It looks too much like this one and this one looks better. I would just venture. In any case, let me know what you think about my villa collection. Did you anticipate me getting this jersey here? 
I didn't really, but hey, there it was and it made sense to get it. Yes, from that past Premier League season, the one jersey that I'm actually really having kind of my eyes on is this Arsenal third jersey, the green and blue one. That one is kind of special, I have to say, but let's see. Maybe I'll find it. And yes, I really hope that the Villa home jersey will drop in price towards the end of the season, then I might get it. Because I think it's quite nice and it also adds something to my collection. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!